you may be stealing and not even realize it. Coming up next on Pastor Bob Daily. What is your time worth? What are your talents worth? What do you have that's marketable, and how do you decide if it is marketable? You know, I remember a conversation many years ago that I was having uh, around lunch, and around me, sitting around me, were about four or five guys that I had discipled for many years. I'd spent a lot of time working with them, counseling them, a lot of time helping them grow, And they were very excited about uh, trading things, trading their services. You know, one guy was a painter, another guy did something else, and they all had their services, and they were ready to barter their services. If you do this for me, then I'll do this for you, and we don't have to exchange money, which is a great idea. And one of the guys turned to me, and he said, wow, it's too bad that you don't have anything to barter, (laughs) that you don't have anything to trade. And it kind of made me feel bad because I thought, you know, all of these years, I've given you what I do. I'm a pastor. I'm a counselor. I've given you the benefit of what I do. And uh, and I felt kind of bad that I didn't see it as something legitimate. And I think sometimes we look at certain kinds of professions and we don't see them as legitimate. Music is one of those. I want to talk about that. You know, there are musicians around us that spend their whole lives really honing in on their craft. They're really good at it. And uh, they, they make it to a place where they're good enough to do an album. They scrape and save and do everything they can to record the album, many times paying for it themselves. It's what they have to offer. It's what they do. And then people pirate the music. People ask me what I feel about pirating music, and I think it's a horrible thing to do because you're really ripping off that person that, well, just like you make a living doing things you're good at, they're doing the same thing. And I believe today that a whole lot of of, uh, musicians would be more able to live and support their families a little better and all of that if we really looked at them as legitimate and as their craft as being legitimate. But for some reason we look at the arts like we look at pastors, like we look at, you know, people that don't have something tangible maybe and we say, well, they're not worth as much. But what if you're a painter? What if you're a craftsman? You know, what if you have something that you go to school and then you learn how to do it and then after you're finished, somebody says, no, I just want you to give this to me for free. You'd say, wait a minute, that's not how it works. I've honed this profession. I've honed in this craft. And, you know, it's something that I market. Would you consider that the next time you decide to pirate music on the internet? That, you know, it really is worth the small amount of money that it takes to actually purchase an album. And when you do that, you help support the person who made it. That's what it's all about. Don't rip them off just like you wouldn't want to be ripped off either. And um, really begin to look at each other as legitimate. A musician is a legitimate profession and they're worthy of their hire as well. God bless you. Have a great day.